I'm joined by Bulls Radio color analyst Jim Kubiak. That scoreboard behind us may need to have the light bulbs changed after this wild game. Uh, overall, Jim, I think the Bulls did exactly what they, they're supposed to do and what they wanted to do when they play a lesser opponent like Morgan State. 570 yards of total offense, five touchdowns throwing the football. Bo Oliver, 238 yards rushing. They really did a great job offensively, and Alex Zordich was 10 for 10 uh, going into halftime. Mm -hmm. and. Just very explosive, and uh, you know it's been fun to watch. Let's talk a little bit about that explosive offense. You've got a quarterback who had a great game, who's been very efficient and smart. You've got a receiver who has the ability to make even the worst thrown passes still wind up in a touchdown, and you've got maybe one of the best running backs in the country right now. Where can this offense go with those three guys and everybody else leading the way? Well, everyone's executing, and that's what's really happening out there. And. You know, we talk about all the great things that Oliver's done and Zordich has done and Alex Newts, but really what Coach Quinn just talked about was those big guys up front. And those guys, the meat potatoes of any football yeah. team, those guys make it go. And, you know, those are the guys that are they're, they're blocking and making holes and they're in protection and they don't get their number called a lot uh, on television or on the radio, but those are the guys that are making it go. Yeah, the guys who eat a lot of those meat and potatoes right. are really setting the dinner plate for That's what's right. been a pretty fun <laughs> offense to watch. Uh, and finally, Khalil Mack comes back and he looked just like the Khalil Mack from last year. At times, he was an unstoppable player. Oh, he is a tremendous talent, great range. He played with an edge tonight. He was in the backfield an awful lot. and. You know, there's a lot of great things happening here. There's a there's this kind of a karma that you get a sense that this could be the year, the year that that UB really gets some traction here in the MAC. And I, I for one, am really excited about this next football game.